The following program is brought to you by Blood, Sweat, Tears, and listeners like you. To support this show and all of the shows within Twib Nation, consider becoming a subscriber of our pay service, The Twibularity, at twib.me forward slash subscribe. That's twib.me forward slash subscribe. Or you can give a one-time donation at donate.twib.me. That's donate.twib.me. We've all learned how important media is and who tells our stories. Help us be the media that you want to hear and that the media is afraid to hear. It's kind of hard to listen to yourself become irrelevant. You are now listening to Twib FM. Real talk, real awesome. Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, August 20th, and today on Twib Prime, John McEnroe thinks he can beat Serena Williams at tennis. D's Nuts is a contender for president, and Ashley Madison is fucking up people's program. All this and more with Team Blackness on Twib Prime. So from now on, whenever you hear these horns, just know you are now entering the blackness. Collard greens, cornbread, and the catfish. Malcolm X and Dr. King with a black fist. We are live, son. This is blackness. You are now entering the blackness. Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, and the classics. Real love, the opposite of ratchet. We are live, son. This is blackness. When they hit me, they say, let's go. What is going on, people? We are back. This is This Week in Blackness Prime. I am your host, Elon James White. With me, as per usual, is Team Blackness, consisting of Captain, Lieutenant, General, Professor. On occasion, on occasion, he is some sort of doctor. He is the Negro Jon Snow in our Negro Game of Thrones. We have Aaron Rand Freeman, sir. It's a pleasure to be here on the program. And it's the end of the week, finally. I'm very, I'm very pleased for this to be the last show of the week. I really, I really enjoy the fact that we won't be back until Monday. Why, why, do you, why do you enjoy that, sir? I mean, like, don't you want to be able to come back and be able to lay down whatever the, the issues or beef that might be out there and lay, this, lay, lay down the smacketh or whatever? That's not what The Rock no, said. No, I'm tired, no. Really? No. I'm, I, I don't know. I mean, I, you, know, I, I, you know, no, I'm tired. No, the news cycle is tiring. It's t- everyone's tiring. I, I, I see more voices and I, I, hear more, I hear more people talking on the internet and it's just, you know. It's it's wearing me down. I'm getting up there. We're getting up there in years, Elon. This is you. You're nearing your. What is this? Almost your. How many years have you been doing this now? Six, right? Uh, so. I mean, well, we started the uh, the. I, I guess Twib started. started about, now we're here. Okay, first of all, Gun Jumper, <laughs> calm down. Uh, we started Twib in 2008, uh, and then uh, in 2009 and 2010, that's when we were playing around with podcasting, uh, with uh, blacking it up, and then uh, uh, in the early days, and then by the beginning of 2011 is when we actually officially locked down and started doing this nonstop. Okay, so this was, so we're four years in. We have to think of it like being professional athletes. Being four years in, it's like being a football player. You only get about nine good years in you. So you got four years, and I'm just saying, we're getting, we're getting up there, we're veterans. So sometimes I feel the aches and pains of having everyone yelling at each other on the internet and in person and then, yeah, everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm a human being. I'm right. sorry. So on I... Thursdays, I enjoy my Thursday sometimes. I'm like, all right, no more terrible news for a few hours until Friday afternoon comes around and then people go, Aaron, look at this shit. Did you see this shit? Did you see this shit? Aaron, Aaron, come here. Aaron, come, come here. Look at this. All right. Well. I'm 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 sorry for your loss, sir. And I will uh, hopefully hopefully people will leave you the hell alone uh, oh. tomorrow, so you can actually just uh, sit there and play video games. Also, with uh, she's angry, she's black, she's some sort of lady. She's the founder of the Angry Black Lady Chronicle. She's senior legal analyst here in Twib Nation. She is uh, the gun jumper in chief, as you have already heard this episode. And an overall problem and a half, we have Amani Gandhi. Uh, Gandhi, ma'am. What was that? <laughs> what I had I, I, I had a brain fart. <laughs> he forgot my name for a half for a hot second. But first of all, I forget your name all the time. That's true. Um, I'm I'm here. I'm alive. I do not have Legionnaire's disease. Prove it. I'm not yeah. sitting on dirty toilet seats. You have Legionettes, and I saw you step out of a public toilet <laughs> just two weeks ago, and this is why you missed yesterday. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, sir. No, sir. Those are all lies, deceit, like, slander. Why, I can't care about you to such a degree where I can't ask how your where your ass has been. Like, <laughs> why am I not allowed to speculate as to where your ass has Worry been? Worry about your own ass, Aaron. And, concerned about your ass my ass is not in question here your ass is in question worry about your own damn ass you know what i you know what i don't want any of the things that are happening right now we do this monday through thursday i mean amani are you gonna say anything besides the fact talking about where your ass has been dirty toilets that's all i have (laughs) this is the look on my face is that that's what just 
Just, I mean, you do realize that every time you say that, you make Koki Negra cry. Uh, ratchet ass <laughs> scientist, uh, scientist, uh, the official scientist of Trib Nation. You just like she just she's not happy with you in any shape, form, or fashion. Koki, we'll talk later. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Okay. Koki, okay. Koki, Koki, and I are cool, man. We're cool. Uh, you, you, you think you're cool? We cool. You don't, you don't we know cool. that your guys are cool at we all. We cool. Like, like the fact we that we better that, be cool, Koki. I'm just kidding, I, I'm actually, cool. uh, of the two of you, I would, I'd put my money on Koki. What? Yeah, this is in, 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 in this a fight. Is an abomination. I'm, I may be small, but I'm spry. She also has weapons, like 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 what bio, kind of bio, weapons? biochemical weapons. Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> she's like, not a super villain. She's a scientist. Although that's how it starts. I was about to say, what mild mannered scientist, and then yeah. something spills over, and she gets it on her skin, and then all of a sudden she's Catwoman. Yeah, wasn't wasn't the Riddler like a regular old engineer? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, wait, wait, what? When was the Riddler, Riddler a regu- regular was engineer? A dude. Riddler was a regular old. Was a guy. Was a skilled. Is a skilled individual, like a professor or a doctor of some kind, like an engineer. Yeah, he worked at some kind of. He, he was a smart guy professionally before he lost his mind and then became the Riddler. He was a smart guy, but he was like a like a like a low level guy. You know, he didn't get he didn't get the respect that he he thought he deserved. Yeah, and that's when and Koki is not that, mind. so she would easily find a way to weaponize water and then throw it on you, and then that yeah. would be the end of the fight. That's true. That's I just true. want to point out that somehow we made this about Batman again. I don't understand this. It just keeps happening. Like, I don't, how do we? How do we? How do we get back here? It's the, it's the thread that binds us. You know? It really is. Yeah. There's no, there's no. There are many people that don't know about Batman or can't fathom Batman in some way, shape, or form, except for Jared Hill. <laughs> so that's it. That's the only person I know that when you mention Batman, something he's just like, I don't know, man, what? You know. So otherwise, it's just the common thread that binds all of us. It's that's too busy that. twirling yeah. around in his apartment, looking all fancy. First of all, I, really, you just did you just out uh, uh, Jared Hill for twirling around in his apartment? Like he did not want that on video, and then you just told everybody about his twirling. Look, I thought his twirling was fantastic. I feel like it should be a gift to the world. That's 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 rude, and I think you need to rude re- though it may be. It's the truth. Okay, okay. We do this Monday through Thursday, uh, and we have a docket full of shenanigans, tomfoolery, and what have you. Uh, but because uh, as we wait uh, for our new hand, which I'm, in, I just uh, as a note, we have in fact chosen a new hand of Twib Nation, uh, the new chief of staff. Uh, but she just has not started yet. Uh, but she will start in the beginning of September. And so, but until then, we have to deal with the shenanigans and tomfoolery of one Imani Gandhi. So Imani. I don't think I like your tone, sir. Well, I mean, you don't like a lot of people's tones. That, what, what, That's true, what, but yours in particular at this moment. Well, you know what? Deal with it. What's is what's tell what's, me what do you, to do? I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling tell you. I'm telling you what to do. I'm telling you what to do. Do we have reminders? <sighs> you can subscribe to the Tribularity if you are into that sort of thing. Twib.me forward slash subscribe. Help us be the media that you want to hear and that the media is afraid to hear. Huh? Am I right? Am I right? You can also donate your account. Twib.me forward slash DYA. Donate your Twitter account, your Facebook account. Allow us to post a little tweet or a little status update that says, yo, bro, throw them up and listen to Twib Nation. First of all, we will never post, yo, bro. I, throw them up. You might say yo, bro. We won't, I, I, so you, I, as the person who actually schedules the, uh, the donate your account, I'm going to tell everyone as a fact, you will not see a tweet saying, yo, bro, throw them up. <laughs> in, 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 in apparently Amani's well, supposed Oakland... I Yo, bro, slang. hella throw them up. Can you do me a favor, Armani? What do you throw up now that you're... M. Like here. <laughs> Apostrophe M. Because I realized I was about to do that, but I don't have any things to throw up offhand. Your hands. So. Just throw your hands up. I know, but there's... No, there's you that's got it. a sandwich? That's- throw your sandwich up. This is jazz hands. This is not something to throw <laughs> for Oakland. This is jazz hands. You got a you shoe? Don't... Throw your shoe up. Jazz hands. No, I'm not going to throw my shoe at the ceiling. They're only 10 feet high. Why would I... Throw a shoe at the I'm, you asked me. I'm trying. I'm trying to give you certain. I thought there was something to sign, up. like an O O Town something, like something you did with your hands, not jazz hands. Every time Oakland jazz is not hands. represented by jazz hands. I don't feel like the spirit style. fingers. It Those are is. spirit fingers. And by the way, uh, uh, just FYI, as you as you Negroes uh, continue doing this, uh, your, your, your Negro isms uh, on Twitter, it's being pointed out uh, by uh, uh, P Funk. Uh, what happened to the super professional pre-recorded reminders? And I would like to point out, this is why we ended up doing those because uh, things go off the rail every time. Hey, whoever that is, P Funk, throw them up. I don't. He's not. I don't think he wants to throw them up. Look, if you like my non-professional. Jazz, fly by the seat of my pants reminders. Mm. 
favorite or no? I'm just no yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Just, just <laughs> can, can we just get can we get through? Fine, your mind? fine, fine. If you want to donate some money, go to twib.me forward slash donate. If you want to do the Amazon thing, I don't know, whatever. Amazon, Amazon.twib.me. If you want to, you know, donate a fuck or two, go to fucks.twib.me. That's it. Throw them up. What? What? I'm, Boom! I'm, done. I'm, Professional. I'm, I am against everything you stand for. <laughs> like, like I just want you to be clear how much I'm against you. I'm fine with that. Put them up. Are you? Uh, yes, I'm. I. Uh, oh my God. And and, and, and and by the way, uh, yeah, he just he just uh, uh, P Funk actually just wanted to let you know that uh, they are up, ma'am. That is what <laughs> is on uh, on Twitter right now. This is this is I. You just all of you people. <laughs> and, and when I mean you people, I mean you people. That's what I'm saying. What do you uh, mean, you people? Uh, uh, really, Aaron? Like angry black people? I don't know what to throw up. People keep talking about it. I'm just cycling through until <laughs> throw I throw them up. See, uh, Tra- this person knows what to throw up. You got people throwing shit up all over the place. I'm at, I'm against everything. Do you? Is are you done with your reminders? Are you that, done with my reminders? I'm, I'm asked. I, listen, I'm just. I, I don't think I understand. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to keep this show together. Are you? Okay, mm-hmm. that's all I'm trying to do. So if you're done with your remind, if, if that's all you have, that's all I have for now. Is a, this is why I don't like. I don't like you. I want to be clear on uh-huh. the fact that, like, of, of the people, like, because, like, there's a lot of people on the show and there's a lot of people involved with the show and everything, but I want to be clear about the dislike I have for you, madam. We clear. Excellent. We clear. Excellent. Long, long, long as we're clear. Um, so, we, as, as I said, we do this Monday through Thursday, uh, and we have a, a docket full of shenanigans, tomfoolery, and what have you. As a reminder, uh, we will be uh, kicking in. Like, I, I keep threatening uh, the, the start of our new uh, uh, fundraiser uh, because, we, like I said, we have a new uh, hand starting. We're looking at uh, uh, finalizing a, a new uh, studio space, a new TV studio space that we're doing, and I really need Twitter to stop yelling, throw them up right now. That's what, I mean, <laughs> above all else, I need I need... I desperately need people to stop. Like I just looked, I just looked over at Twitter right now. Boom, uh, 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 Karen Harbert, throw him up. That's all she. That's all she's saying. Exactly. Just, that, I, no, no, don't, no, throw no, him up, exactly. Karen. You got. No. I got you. <sighs> this is, uh, and, and actually, and thank God, someone, uh, someone on Twitter uh, is yelling out. Uh, uh, Vonnie B. Uh, literally said, uh, "Stop saying throw them up. I'm getting nauseous." <laughs> 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 you know, that, that's and that's a reasonable reaction to this. Uh, we do this again Monday through Thursday. We have a docket full of all the crap, and we uh, currently we didn't weren't able to get our our uh, our news briefs together. So Amani, you're just gonna have to like c- handle the whole news thing all across the board. All like, across what, what, the what, board, what, what, what baby. You, what is that? Da- what is that dance that you're doing? I don't know. It's a snappy shoulder it's thing. Not- it's a. I don't know. I just feel like the rhythm in me, man. I can't stop. Okay, I'll stop. You do realize that's a that, that that's a gift immediately. Right? <laughs> like as soon as as soon as the show is over, like I hit my I, I hit my gift game proper. Just always be from always be aware of that. What do you have uh, for our docket, madam? Um, Ashley Madison. R- really? Ashley Madison is fucking up so many people's program. It's kind of delightful. <laughs> it is. Wait, is that is that our official stance that we're kind of taking a kick out of? I mean, so we're getting a kick out of the being I, people being out and as being on the website. I'm kind of getting a kick out of some of the some of the more hypocritical people. I mean, obviously there were. I think the the data dump in, includes 33 million accounts, 36 million email addresses. Um, there's already a searchable database where you can enter in your email address or the email address of someone with whom you may be in a relationship. Wait, what? So so wait, hold on, hold on. So like, someone already pro- programmed this so that uh, you can. Go like, oh, hmm, you know, you know, so and so's a dick. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find out if you were on Ashley Madison. Yep. Really, someone's already set yep. that up. Yep, yep. This is you know, Ashley dot cynic dot al. Ashley cynical. Ashley dot cynic dot al. You can go. I already looked up my name up. I'm not on there. I looked up my dad. He ain't on there. I'm I looked sorry. up my mom. A- she ain't on there. Ashley, so we're good. Ashley, what now? Ashley a s h l e y dot cynic c y n i c dot al. Ashley dot cynic. <laughs> dot al. Uh, you know, I'm I'm, go- I'm going there because now I just want to find. Oh, you, I, I, apparently, I uh, I spelled it wrong. Uh, thank thank you, small Jewish woman who is not the one <laughs> handling this. I got this. Do you? I do have it. I'm I'm now gonna like the whole show. I'm gonna be uh, doing it. The first one. Don't look at uh, my name. Uh, okay, first of all, my Emily Don't Epps. Look uh, well, M Epps. M- M- no, actually, that's not her. Gmail. Uh, uh, why are you giving out her email address on air, madam? You oh, just shit. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> you want? Why don't you dox her? Why don't you tell her everyone everyone where she lives right now? Stop it. I'm really sorry. I'm just, just, the, to do just that. the absolute worst. What, yes. You're the worst. I already said I'm sorry. This is between me and my lover, Emily. Why don't you stay out of it, Elon? 
who are not on Ashley Madison. We are both not on Ashley Madison. We are in you a do, committed you do realize that we're, relationship. We, you do realize that we're the ones that are supposed to be getting married in all this. Well, I might have to ourselves. rethink that because right. I don't think I like your attitude. Yeah. Maybe I will go live with Emily Every in the city. Six months. Six months. <laughs> I'm fair. I changed my mind. Maybe I like the city. Maybe I want to go live live with Emily in a, in a high rise building, look overlooking the park. I don't know. Maybe we want to eat cheese steaks all day and go to Wawa. Yeah, right, people. right. We want to live right next to a Wawa. Love you, Emily. Never let go. <laughs> Aaron, could you could you could you please save me? Um, I don't. You put yourself in that situation, getting boxed in by trolls. That's that's a personal choice that I you made. I hate the show. I hate everything about it. So Ashley Madison, people apparently are getting. So that, what, were they actively hacked, or did they leak it, or like what what what? 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 <laughs> what? I so, didn't know. Ashley I, mean, Madison I, 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 is I a, haven't even heard of Angela Davis before this. Uh, this oh my god! Where, oh like, my god! What? Stop saying Angela Davis. It's Ashley Madison. I'm sorry. It's just, Ashley yes. Madison, who's like a white girl who's probably in a sorority that is featured in that Alabama video that everyone's been talking about for the last week. Ashley Madison is a is a is a website that is dedicated for cheaters. So it's an online dating website for cheaters. So if you are in a relationship and you ain't supposed to be cheating. Because you don't have that kind of relationship going, you go on to the Ashley Madisons and you get you, you you sign up and you pay a fee. You know, put your credit card information in there, and then you go trolling for whatever you go trolling for, men, women, whatevs. So what had happened was there was a group called Impact, I believe. It's a hacker group that they were none too pleased with Ashley Madison's business model, and so what they had done is go into the Ashley Madisons and hack all their shit, and then dump all their shit onto the internet. It included 33 million accounts, 36 million email addresses. You can go and you can search for whomever you want, parents, loved ones, friends, teachers, blackmail some fuckers. We don't care. We're not in favor of blackmail. Don't blackmail anyone. But if you do, cut me in on the, on the money. No, um, no, no, that's not, what? no. What did no. I say? What, 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 what did, did you, I say? What are you talking we're, about? We're, I anti, we're anti-blackmail, madam. Okay, and okay. and you shouldn't make money off of, uh, off of other people's pain and suffering. Well. That's not how this works. Wait, you're not supposed to make money off of other people. We are not supposed to make money off really? of other people's stuff. Right I now. Mean, when was that? I didn't, I didn't read that the, in the that rule That wasn't the meeting. That well, I have the to meeting. keep the phone. I'll be, can you take my shot off? You're not supposed to make money off of other people's... I have to make a phone call. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just saying. So, uh, that happened. <laughs> and uh, now, of course, people are looking for all sorts of, you know, hypocrites, proselytizers, just assholes ne'er-do-wells and who should pop up but one joshua duggar you may recall joshua duggar from such hits as i molested my teenage sisters oh no oh my god oh no oh no. so he had himself a profile on ashley oh, madison no and then some folks at gawker oh, may have traced no. his account to another account on okcupid that he had had up where he didn't have his own picture, but he had a stock picture of a model, but then all of the other information corresponds with what his information would be. And one of the commenters in there, and, and it's from the same town where he and his wife live, or soon to be ex-wife, I can imagine, because she already went through the whole, oh, I molested my sister shit. Now he's, she, he's got to deal with, she's got to deal with, oh yeah, my, my, my super Christian quiverful husband is trolling for strange on the Ashley Madisons. And I feel like, that ain't no good. Apparently, he has come out and said that he's been a horrible hypocrite. So, you know, he's sorry or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. No, I'm laughing I, at I, him. I, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm laughing a little bit at him. Yeah, we're laughing uh, at But him. at the same time, it's just like, this is just like, dude, dude, this is this is the problem with, uh, like, and I think we were talking about this uh, uh, internally with uh, conservatives in general. It's like, dude, just like, just like, you do realize, like, 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 on the, I don't care if you, if you need to go do that. I mean, I, I believe that what it, basically this whole conversation is about like whatever you and your uh, significant other, your partner decide, if you guys decide that like, hey, you know what? What we gonna do? We gonna do what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you good? We good? Okay, we good. All right, let's go. <laughs> I mean, that's on you. And I believe on the left, that is actually something that's actually very reasonable. That is not something that uh, conservatives are ever for. Uh, but, but just, just, it's so, like just, if you if you weren't a dick and weren't hi being hypocritical, then no one would care. Yep. No one would care that whatsoever. Just like just own your shit. Own just own your it. shit. Anyway, uh, uh But here's but, but here's what's, 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 what's what can we can we handle this after a commercial break, I madam? Guess. Can we can, can, can I mean, we? Is it possible? I mean, if you wanna. <laughs> 
Thank you. Well, after this commercial break, uh, we will be back and we will continue. Amani will apparently explain to uh, what's going to happen with this dude and whatever. So stay tuned. Stay tuned on that. Magic shall ensue. Why you suckers way nervous? I'm great with the body rock service. The sick with the situation is strong. Super crease got a arm asleep. Cardiac attack and they say strong. Hi, this is Elon James White, CEO and founder of This Week in Blackness Media. We love our audience and we know you all want us to survive, but you don't always have the means to support us financially the way you'd like to. Well, if you shop at Amazon, you can still help TWIB. Go to amazon.twib.me, that's amazon.twib.me, and then shop. We get a referral and you get the product you need at no extra cost. It's a quick and easy way to support and help us grow in this space. That's amazon.twib.me. Help us be the media that you wanna hear and that the media needs to hear. <laughs> Are you ready for our pleasure? Wanna dissect sexy? Join me, Nijay Larie, on TWIB After Dark with Aaron Rand Freeman, where we get all up in the intersection of feminism, sex positivity, and identity. We also interview awesome movers and shakers in the world of professional pleasure. Join us every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For all access to extras, exclusives, and commercial-free content, subscribe to the Twibularity at twib.me forward slash subscribe. Help us bring the media you want to hear and the media needs to hear. You are listening to Twig Prime with Elon James White, right here on Twitter. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm looking on Twitter, uh, Amani and uh, and and P Funk decided to uh, weigh in uh, yet again on uh, some of this and. Uh, it, it, funny enough, he put on, put it out. I'm being selectively petty about Ashley Madison just because of Josh Duger, yep. uh, 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 along with a, uh, a a a a what's his name Johnson. What, what, what's the Rock's the real name? Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, like, because it's not the Rock. It's not a Rock uh, uh, image. It's a it's a Dwayne Johnson image. Yeah. That he has he has on top of that just to let us know uh, how much he's mocking all of this. Um, yeah, well, I mean, Josh Duggar is very mockable, especially because. The, the, the original statement that he issued contained some interesting language that was immediately deleted. But of course, you know, the internet is forever. It's, people got screenshots. So he says, I've been the biggest hypocrite ever. While espousing faith and family values, I have secretly over the, several ye over the last several years been viewing pornography on the internet. And this became a secret addiction. And I became unfaithful to my wife. I'm so ashamed of the double life that I've been living. And I'm grieved for the hurt, pain, and disgrace my sin has caused my wife and family. And most of all, Jesus and all those who profess faith in him. Oh Most of all, Jesus. I brought hurt and reproach to my family, close friends, and the fans of our show with my actions that happened when I was 14 to 15 years old, and now I have rebroken their trust. So get it? First, first he broke their trust when he was molesting his sisters. Oh, God. And now he has rebroken his trust as an adult when he's been, you know, beaten off to porn oh, and, and fucking around on his wife, even though, oh, God. you know, if you were liberal, you could beat off to all the porn you want to because, you know, we don't give a shit about that sort of thing. But then he goes on to say, actually, uh, the, uh, the uh, last few years, while publicly stating I was fighting against immorality in our country. In my heart, I had allowed Satan to build a fortress that no one knew about. Within like literally minutes, that that was changed to I was hiding my own personal failings because the Satan language and the I, personal fortress was a little bit much for him, I suppose. Well, I, I, unless they realize how hilarious that uh, having Satan build a personal for, uh, a thing is. That's kind of hilarious. Like, like, dude, like. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'm wondering were they writing it for like their the evangelical uh, uh, followers, and then they realized how it would play outside of that, and then it's just like this is just literally fodder for all the talk shows, for yeah. all everything. Like yeah. this is this like dude, just just uh, just uh, will you be quiet in the background, lady who is not on the show? <laughs> just 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 randomly yelling shit. I like it when you randomly. Yell you be remember. quiet too. I mean, actually, you're on the show. You're allowed to talk. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to remember the part where you actually uh, are supposed to be here. It's just a white lady yelling in the background. Um, white ladies always yelling in the background. I just want. I just. I just. I. I don't. 
I know. I know. I don't know what a fortress built by Satan looks like. Like, 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 is it like, like some, some, some straight up, like, like, uh, Winterfell, uh, uh House of Stark <laughs> that fortress? Like, Aaron, can you tell me what? It's wait, probably it, like a fortress. It's like probably like the wall. It's ice. It, is, it, is it the ice, wall? Yeah. Is, is that, is that the Satan of the, for, of the, Satan, the fortress of Satan? Yeah, it's probably. I Aaron, think. you live on the wall. Is that, is that how that looks out there? Uh, the fortress of Satan is officially the, it, it was renamed the Barclays Center before it opened because. <laughs> Focus grouping and general negative public reaction to the actual name Fortress of Satan, which is why they kind of like the walls were supposed to be flame red. That's why it looks like poop because they had to brown it over because they were they, the Fortress of Satan, the red walls, the flame moat. It was all sending the wrong message. It wasn't sending Jay Z Brooklyn Nets, you know, it was saying more Satan. So they had to change it. So the Fortress of Satan is already exist here. So. There you go. I'm pretty sure we're going to be sued somehow. By Satan? Or the, the Barclays. Bar 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think uh, Satan is that litigious. Um, <laughs> Probably not so much. I, I, like, Satan's like, oh, 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 where? I feel like Satan's one of those people who just brings it to you. You know what I mean? Like how other people are just like, I'm going to sue you. Satan's like, where? I'm going to steal your soul. I'll see you outside. <laughs> i see you outside. Oh, look. Oh, do you want, are, are, are you thirsty? Hmm. What would you do for this drink? I wonder. <laughs> Copyright Satan. Um. Um, so just to just to wrap up this Ashley Madison story, um, there have been hundreds of government workers that have been found to have accessed and paid membership fees <laughs> for Ashley Madison using federal internet connections. So it, this includes several assistant U.S. attorneys, a prominent information technology administrator in the White House, a Justice Department trial attorney, and at least two Department of Homeland Security employees, one who worked in the agency's hacking division and another who focused on counterterrorism. Um, this may not be that big of a deal because these government employees have not broken any laws necessarily, but when it comes to the military, there are de several, uh, email addresses that end in .mil, which is for the military. Why would you do that? And philandering is actually a punishable offense in the military. First of all, that's ridiculous. But so two, you can be- Why would you do, why would you sign up? Like, do people not understand you can, Gmail is free. Yeah. Gmail, just sign up for literally you can go buy a URL if you want to and just like like buy like like I'm I'm doing some shit.com and then just like make it get an email address or why would you possibly why would you possibly do that? Why would you like with your I never understood people who downloaded porn to their uh their work PCs. I didn't understand people who signed up for stuff like because I used to work IT it's basically just like what are you doing? Yeah. Why 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 are you doing this? This what you know what actually because the thing is I felt kind of bad. I was like, man, like this is like this is not really other people's business if you decide that this is how you want to roll or this is what you want to do. Like, I kind of felt bad for folks. But if you're, like, in the, like, the military and you're using your real email and shit like that, like, like the, don't be an asshole. Don't be, like, my official statement on that, don't be an asshole. Especially don't be an asshole if you're in the military and you know that philandering is, you can be prosecuted under the UCMJ, the Uniform, well, actually, Uniform I, Code of Military Justice. Whether or not you agree with it, that's the law. So you can, you can literally be confined for a year. For adultery. Can we, and you can I, be I think we need to have that conversation then. You can uh, be dishonorably discharged from the military for adultery. Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think that's weird. It, like, I think it's weird, too. I'm, I'm, I'm like, really, like, the fact is, if I'm willing to go uh, fight and uh, die in the streets uh, uh, for, uh, for, for for my country, if I'm, gonna, I'm willing to, I'm going to go get my, bring my gun and go and shoot at people or whatever, you know what I should be able to do? To have yeah. sex with whoever I want. Like, you should not have a, a say in that. Like, that's just, like, that's on me. I'm I'm a fight for the country. But you you, you stay on my business. <laughs> I'm gonna fight for the country, but I might go. I might cheat a little bit. Like I, I currently, I am not cheating because I'm also not fighting for the country. And also, if I was cheating, f you. It's between me and the small Jewish woman. <laughs> just, I just want, I just want to be clear on that. Because <laughs> I just realized I'm, I'm making I'm like, wait, what? If I decide, if I, if I, in my relate, we decided. We decide. Like, it's, it's, it's a thing. I, I really think that Americans just need to get over themselves, which is all, oh, uh, you, you were doing so, you, you were doing, oh, how dare you go out there and do things that I would think is scandalous. Yeah. How dare you? Everybody's up in everybody's business. Get out of my head. No, you, you're doing things that are not upstanding for a, a good Christian American. That's true. But these people do the same thing. That's Everyone not the point. The same thing. You but then they have the to apologize, though. They what? Then they have to apologize. Like oh, Duggar, ha Duggar has to go, go do his apology uh, uh, tour because he's because uh, he's going around uh, uh, being a douchebag uh, and and being hypocritical. But had if he was just if we just got over this and we were just like as a country, you do what you want to do. 
Like, that's your, your life, your privacy. Do what the hell you want to do. Then he wouldn't have to go around going, because, like, literally isn't the first line in, this, uh, in, in the thing, like, I've been a, the biggest hypocrite. Well, the thing is, it's not just, it's not the country. It's the segment of Christian extremists who are proselytizing and talking about how everybody else is going to hell and how you got to breed, 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 and the quiverful movement and all that nonsense. Like, that is not a healthy way to live. How in the hell are you expected to grow up in a household with 19 kids and that, you know, you're not allowed to hold hands until you're engaged. You're not allowed to have any physical contact until you're married kids have urges that's how you end up molesting whoa, whoa, whoa. Kid. what do you what do you, what do you, what, 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 what do you mean urges kids have ur- what sex of the of a sexual nature what so according to who kid they're, they're they're pure and they and they wouldn't even understand anything about this if it wasn't for that dirty liberal television right the dirty liberal te- or those dirty liberal hormones that are coursing through their 14 year old bodies that are telling them i gotta go grab boobs the nearest boobs next to me are my sisters oh well i'm gonna go touch those because i'm not allowed to touch any other ones otherwise i'm gonna get in trouble Wait, I, okay but that, I mean, that's impli- but, but that's also implying that, that that's that's implying imani that if you grew up in that environment that basically you're being you're being uh, uh put into a corner or two, then that's how you respond. I, I feel like a lot of people or, uh, who grew up that way didn't do that. I'm sure th- I know that they didn't, but I'm saying if you don't teach kids about sexuality and if you try to harness kids' natural urges, I think you're going to end up in a lot of situations where kids are acting out, kids are getting pregnant and not telling their parents, kids are you know downloading porn and doing all this shit that they're not supposed to be doing. Just, just let. All I'm saying is that maybe when a kid is 12 years old, you take them out in a nice Christianly manner. You find a nice Christianly woman, and you let the dude touch her boobs. <laughs> you just say, "This is my son Joshua. He's fourteen. Oh, he loves Jesus. No. Joshua, this is no. this is Mary Elizabeth. What are you saying? He's Sixteen. What are you saying? Oh, Mary you Elizabeth saying? has consented to allow you what to touch happening? her bosoms. What is happening? So touch, well, touch Mommy, thine, thine, thine blessed bosoms. Touch people. thine blessed bosoms. Tune in on Tokyo. That's what I'm saying. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> Really? I'm getting no support here? Nothing? I'm just... All right, fine. Well, the Duggars also have decided to pitch a new TLC show where they counsel sex abuse victims. So that's a thing. Really? I mean, you're not for consensual boob touching among 14 and 16-year-olds when you're in, like, an extreme Christian household. Hey, listen, I I I actually understand. I think I get what you're saying is that you're suggesting that possibly we attempt to desexualize women's bodies to the eyes of some of these people. So it's not so fraught with tense sexual tension that they can actually treat these people as human and actually address themselves as human as well. Yeah, also I think it's just I think it's I think it's fundamentally absurd to try to harness the hormones and urges that are coursing through a prepubescent or or a nascently pubescent child. Expect them to not hold hands until they're engaged, which what doesn't happen until you're 2021. 20, like literally no physical contact with contact with a person of the opposite sex or the same sex. Although if you're having it with the same sex, then you're automatically going to hell because these people are extreme Christians. So it just sets up a lot of hardships for kids who are gonna be kids. That's why we don't that's why we don't teach abstinence only in school, right? Because kids are gonna be fucking. And that includes Christian kids. That's why in, more, in, 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 uh, in predominantly Mormon areas, they literally don't consider anal sex to be sex. So you got all these Mormons running around having the butt sex because they Wait, think is that, that, is that... Is that factual? Yes. I mean, yes. so, so, yes. we, so we know for a fact that Mormons are going around... Going around doing, I, know, I know Catholics do that. I, that. That's a Catholic thing that you can still... I had a friend who grew up in Salt Lake City. And so... Just saying. Okay, but so here's here, here's the point here, is it's just let's thing. let's talk like, about ooh, sex like it's an actual I, normal I, I am, thing. I am all about sex. Small woman, be quiet. Gee, you are not even on camera. What are you doing? You're just yelling in the background like a crazy person. So you buy and to learn and be quiet. So here's the thing. So I would be back. So here's the thing. I'm not saying that we obviously obviously we should have a. Uh, 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 people have a reasonable conversation around uh, sexuality and all that type of stuff. But I am also not sure I'm too cool with like, like. So hey, here's my 14 year old. When like one touch, one touch these boobs. Like and you guys can just be reasonable boob touchers. That's what you, because that's what you suggested. No, yeah, I was I, suggesting that you get a 16 year old girl who is who wants her boobs to be touched, and then another person who wants to touch the boobs, and you bring them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Boobs, boob touchers. 
Bring it together. You can what, have, what, what, you can what, have what, a circle what, what, of life. You want to touch it all? You want to Ashley Madison for like 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 fourteen year olds? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, like, hello, hello, fourteen year old. Would you like your boobs touched? I would love my boobs touched. Excellent, fourteen year old boy. Would you like your Would you like to touch some boobs? I would love to touch some boobs. Come together here exactly. on exactly in a Christianly manner. I mean, with all due respect, if I was when I was fourteen. Uh, a little, a little Ashley Madison or whatever would have worked out really well. Just to have, a, you know, just to, just to have get it out of the way, get it off the old bucket list. <laughs> These pair of boobs wouldn't have been yeah. a terrible idea, and I'm certain it would have saved saved a lot of us kids some trouble. I mean, boob, a lot, boob, a lot boob, oh, I got into a lot of trouble in the quest to touch boobs. I mean, maybe you got in trouble. I was, I was fine. Mm, like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slowing it down for the sisters. Actually, no. I, I, I'm hopefully, hopefully, my mom's not listening to this uh, particular episode uh, because because <laughs> every time my mom ever hears about anything that like might have happened when I was a child, because like things. I mean, I was a 14 year old boy, and like, and then there were, and I was around 14 year old girls, and then 14 year old things happened. Exactly. So, exactly. But, but exactly. Is, but, guess, but guess what, Imani? Guess what? I didn't have like a hookup system or something like that. I didn't have someone going like, "Good afternoon. Would you like to meet Tanisha?" That's because you weren't hella Christian. Hey, I, what are you talking okay, about? Okay, yeah, you were hella Christian. That's true, I, I but not hella church. Christian in the quiverful sense. Was your mom telling you you can't hold hands with a girl until you? you actually, what, no, my mom, the, your my mom, mom was like, "You gonna be raw dogging?" And you gave you my some mom, condoms when you were like four years old, yeah, right? My mom was asking me. My mom told me if I was gonna get a piece, I better. Let <laughs> yeah, that's right. Are you gonna get a piece? Actually, really, it probably has scarred me until this day. Exactly. Just, just, conversation, the reasonable birds and the beasts. Amani, what did your, how did your mom and your dad talk to you about that? Because Elon's mom said, Elon's mom said that way. You, sometimes you're going to get you a piece, so cover it up. And my mom famously, so what was, she, what was it? What was it? Oh yeah, she said, "Listen, Aaron, pussy's going to be everywhere." <laughs> and, <laughs> That's and, amazing. What? Like, what? <laughs> My mom, she said, because she said, you know, don't worry about making any mistakes because pussy's going to be everywhere. You're going to have ample opportunities to have sex, so be safe. Don't be a fool chasing it around. You will get plenty of opportunity. And she was right. As I'm 32, I got plenty of opportunities to have sex. So she was right. But when I was 12 and a half, it hit me like a bag of bricks. <laughs> pussy's everywhere. I was like, all right. Good so, talk, mom. Yeah. I mean, mom. but I will, I will say this much. Uh, my, mom, my mom's method of, uh, of dealing with this, uh, I did not, in fact, uh, have any girls pregnant. <laughs> the, the fact is, whatever her method of uh, uh, talking to me about it, I was like, no. Also, she also threatened my life. Uh, and she told me flat out uh, that if, I, if, 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 if any, any girl started uh, ringing our doorbell talking about, Elon got me pregnant. Like, yeah, okay, you better, you better deal with Elon. Like, like, my mom was like very clear about like how that would play out. And I, so I was like, no. Like, well, I, I think I've even told on the show before uh, that uh, I got, there was a letter that came to the house and it said, it, but it was to James White and it was a paternity letter saying like, 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 like you, like, we, we believe that you are the father of some, a child and my mom literally opened the letter she looked at it she go you get some girl pregnant <laughs> and i said no and she goes i thought so and just closed it and threw it away it was it wasn't even a question of whether or not i might have well, was it like, I, I, if, my name because my name is elon james white and someone named james white it just got somehow connected it, was, it wasn't a girl i knew or anything like that it was just like, like they when they were trying to find paternity around it and my but my mom knew that she had uh dealt with this in a way that I was not like like because a lot of parents say that like like not my child. My mother was like, no no no, really not my child. <laughs> no no. How no. first of all, will you stop? You get out. <laughs> get out. Just just yell just yell in the background. Just, just like, give her just, a mic. You know you like, can't control listen, her. Listen listen. I will not have some white woman demanding time on this weekend blackness. Pro I said good day. <laughs> what else is on my docket? So John McEnroe. Seems to think that he could beat Serena Williams nope. in tennis. Oh, skip the story. She's nope. Great. We're not yeah. even doing this. We're not even doing this. John, John McEnroe is the biggest douchebag possible if he thinks that he's somehow going to beat Serena. Serena Williams would not, would, would not only beat his ass, she would beat his ass, laugh, and then beat his ass again. She would beat his ass in high heels. Like, I'm not yeah. even kidding. Like, I believe she could take him down in high heels. Just, like, he needs to shut the entire fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, anyway, but, McEnroe <laughs> has been retired from tennis since 1992. Um, he unretired briefly in 2006 to play in a couple doubles tournaments. Williams, as we all know, has been just 
dominating tennis for years now. She won her 21st Grand Slam title at Wimbledon this past year. Um, <laughs> McEnroe says that his two daughters are claiming that he would lose, but he still remains confident that he could win. Listen, and he's 56 years old. And no, he could not win. Aaron, I mean, you, you're, 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 you're the host of Sports Ball with Aaron Rand Freeman, so you have a, a little bit of a knowledge around these sports things that maybe maybe I'm missing here. Why, it, why is it that this old white dude is thinking that he's going to beat one of the best tennis players in the world and actually of all time? I can't tell whether he's being a dick or whether he's just being mighty white or what. I, I I hate to say it, but I just feel like it's it because people say all kinds of outlandish things regarding Serena Williams. So this is just like I'm I'm like white white folks say all kinds of outlandish things about Serena Williams. But this is this is extra froggy. You don't think this is like a little bit extra froggy? Like some old well, this, 56 year old dude. This woman is like she's people are writing uh, 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 articles about the fact that like we've never seen something like this before. Like she's like magic. She's she actually is just doing something that we've never seen happen before. And then old white dude's like I can beat her. <laughs> No, I, I hear all the all this stuff that you're talking about. So much she's dominating everything. If you ever want to have some fun, let me see if I can find it on YouTube, put it on put it on the hashtag. Um they have like clips of like the the way the audience reacts to Serena Williams, the way the announcers react to Serena Williams. Nobody likes to see her succeed. So everyone is thinking some froggy shit. John McEnroe just said it. He's a douchebag and I hope he falls out of a second floor window. Yeah, I mean, he's, he actually is a dick. He said, um, Serena, she's got a lot to lose by losing to an old fart like myself. Would never happen. And then he went on to say, and I've got a lot to lose because if I lose to, God forbid, a woman, then I'm not allowed in any men's locker room for the next 15 years. He didn't say that. Yeah, he said that. Okay, okay. You know, now, now I'm thinking that he had to be like, he had to be kidding. He cannot, he cannot uh, 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 co-sign and sign off on that that hard of a ridiculous gendered, I do Bullshit. know John McEnroe. He's a dick. He's well I mean, known yeah, I, for be, he was well known in tennis for being a dick. I, 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 I mean, but like yeah, John McEnroe's time because like like not to be funny, he is like, he's, he is an old uh, old dude. Like I, don't, I like he like when was he even popular? Like we were barely kids when like in John the, like, McEnroe was doing in the something. 80s. Right, like dude, like dude, just shut the entire fuck up. Yep. Yeah, like, 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 just, just uh, uh, like dear John McEnroe, shut up. Yep. You can't beat her. She's the best. Yep. Just shut up. Yep. She would destroy you. Hell, I would like to see, like, in all honesty, I would love to see Serena Williams uh, start just, like, playing in the men's league so that she could just shut them all oh, God, down. that would be awesome. I think, I think that, like, I want to see, because I think she could do it. Oh, I but think she could do it. She's, she's, she is a beast, and not in, like, a beast, like, oh, like, like a beast, like, bad woman. No, no, she's a beast. Beast mode. She, like, that is actually beast mode. She can, she can be sick and still destroy you. Yep. Yep. What is wrong with you? And then and then and then put on a put on a fucking ball gown and then just strut her shit down the red carpet looking gorgeous as fuck. Man, Serena, stop. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, what 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 else we got, Adam? So we have a presidential sensation, D's nuts. Don't do this. He's a 15 year old. He's a 15 year old Iowa farm boy, and he's actually polling at nine percent in North Carolina wait, 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 against wait, wait. Trump. D's nuts is actually a person. It's actually a person. What? It's a person. What? It's a 15 year old kid named Brady Olson. What? How is it? What? The, okay, how is these? These nuts is, is a term that, that young punks say, and it's, it's been a joke for, for a decade or two. Like, how is it an actual he person? Fi he filed with the FEC to run for the presidency. But you can't even run it, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, uh, as a 15 year old, so that doesn't make sense either. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure the, he's not seriously running. But the, well, I no, mean, but like, as, like, but, uh, seriously, like, if I'm going, like, you, if you're going to file and they're going to, like, actually, because, like, this has actually been in the news. People have actually had to say, there's a cat like, that's about, running for president. Huh? There's a cat that's running for president. Limberbutt McCubbins. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, who now? There's a cat from, Limber, Ken, Limber? Cat from Kentucky. Limberbutt McCubbins. No, okay, Amani. M C C U B B I N S. Amani, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go on the record and say that I am I am a, a Limber Butt 2016. That is what <laughs> that is where I'm going. I will vote regular for everything else, but Limber Butt 2016. Act like I won't. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Sanders supporters. <laughs> I will vote Limber Butt 20. Limber Butt what? McCubbins. McCubbins. <laughs> Limber Butt McCubbins. I'm like like I would like to I would like to hear Limber Butt's uh, racial justice. <laughs> <laughs> here, here it is. <laughs> Limberbutt Limber is a close associate of Promo Cat. Oh, no. And okay, so... Okay, you know, I, 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 actually, 
I would I would actually cousins. I would just sit there and uh, just uh, uh, shoot all uh, all uh, anti limber butt uh, <laughs> ad campaigns. Now, now that I know that it's connected to promo cat, I'm actually against. I would now you're against. Butt. Now you're against limber butt McCubbins. I was for limber butt McCubbins, but yeah. now I'm against limber butt McCubbins. Now that I know you that are you racist have against promo cat. First of all, I'm not racist. I'm specious. Get your shit. You're right. You're racist against promo cat. Like, it's, it, it, it's not a, it, the cat Pro- is not a race. What are you doing? Promo cat's a race. Distinct. You are not here. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to be quiet. Lumberbutt nuts, 2016. <laughs> Lumberbutt, Lumberbutt these nuts, Lumberbutt becomes these nuts, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> Cats and balls that you can believe in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. What? I just looked up. I just looked up. So I gotta stop looking because the thing is that like people are saying stuff, but every time I go over there, uh, fucking P Funk is saying some nonsense. <laughs> for for instance, uh, apparently uh, he just uh, uh, tweeted out, uh, "Did you know that Lumberbutt?" Marched with King. <laughs> I just, I just can't. I just, I can't, I can't do this. I don't want this. That's, yeah. <laughs> like, like, that's, that's Limberbutt fought for uh, racial equality his, uh, his entire life. Like, he just, like, he saw, like, a, like, a, like a black kid uh, being moved from the, uh, the, the, the Woolworth counter and was just like, meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> I have a meow. <laughs> I have a meow. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Uh, oh oh dear. I just like uh, an- another uh, can- come in on on the on the hashtag QED seventy seven just uh, threw out there that uh, black cat lives matter. <laughs> black cat lives matter nine times. As much. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> this is a pro- I didn't know about Limberbutt McCubbins. Limberbutt, you know what? I, I, Limberbutt, if you want to come on the show, <laughs> we'll bring you on. You can have a conversation. We can talk about your platform. Uh, are, you, are, are you pro or against Tinder Vittles? Um, <laughs> what's your catnip? What's your cat? Like, gonna, do you want to like, legalize how, catnip? How, how, long, how long have you been off the catnip? Uh, <laughs> uh, if, if, you, uh, if you actually, did you, uh, first of all, have you ever even tried catnip? Did you, or did you just scratch? <laughs> Just, I, I, I have questions for Mr. Ka- for Mr. McCubbins. Like, I, like if, if McCubbins ha- is like has a platform, let's have a conversation. With McCubbins. See, everyone's tweeting Limber Butt Promo Cat 2016. Oh my Boom. god, I'm against. Uh, and, and guess what? I'm ignoring all the people tweeting that. <laughs> P Funk tweeted Limber Butt so black. <laughs> oh my god, don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> please don't I love please don't do this this is this is this is all sorts this of problems hilarious. Uh, so much okay. hilarious. limber butt what else do we what else do we have um okay what else do we have is there anything else to have after that yeah is there any other stories really i mean what okay. else is there I'm trying, we're gonna keep it light we're just gonna keep it on this light tip i mean do we have news though not really nothing crazy nothing breaking i, I feel like i feel like i feel like that's not true what are you talking about there's, <laughs> like there's always no- always there's always something happening ashley the ashley madison's Actually, man, listen. I don't. I don't. You gonna stop telling me about? Uh, uh, actually, I'm gonna. I, I almost uh, got myself in trouble just now. Continue. Um, <laughs> there's a radio station in Charlotte that has changed its programming to play only Drake music. Tw- Drake music 24 seven. Nope. So the light skins get another victory. Nope. Why? Why would you do that? Uh, the why channel that? used to play gospel. Okay, okay, why would they... Why? And then they just switched to playing Drake music all of the time. Usually, this happened once before, I remember we talked about this, when a radio station started playing Beyonce 24-7, and it was because they were in the middle of being bought out by another company, and so they had fired all of their staff, and so in the meantime, while they were exchange, uh, changing ownership, they just played Beyonce 24-7. It seems like that's the same thing is happening here, although they have changed their name from WQNC in Charlotte to Drake 92.7. Hey, doesn't Rod live in Charlotte? Maybe he knows something about this. I'm, ag- I'm, ag- I'm against all of this. Dara this don't, don't. I'm, Dara probably no, doesn't own this station. No, yeah, Dara, obviously, clearly, she, uh, she, she must be rolling in that, uh, that Google money and just, like, decide to buy a radio station and make it all Drake. I, no, why, why, no, why, there no. Was, there were some rumors that Drake had actually bought the radio station from his, for himself, for himself. <laughs> But um, that seems unlikely because the FCC restricts international parties from purchasing American broadcast stations. And as we all know, Drake is Canadian as all get out. All right. So. Well, that's that's. I'm just right. I'm I'm against this. I'm against all of this. Just just in case you were wondering, like, hey, Elon, are you pro? Ag-? I'm I'm against. You're against it. I'm against this. You can be against it if you want, but that don't mean it ain't happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about what 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 if I uh what if I uh say no? I mean you can say no, but That's all you got? Thank yeah. you. You're really on top of that. What else do we have, Matt? Oh god. You're like, you're like you could say no. Silence. 
Yeah, there's this story that I don't know why this is on here about someone, some San Diego resident named Brian Anderson who was taking a road trip with his sister and apparently lip synced the entire seven hour ride. Actually, that was actually pretty funny. The 911 dispatcher for the San Diego Fire Department filmed a time lapse of their trip together, which they, sh which the fire department shared with the Huffington Post. Um, he, the the guy Brian Anderson said he he sang in total for probably about four hours. Actually, that, that was that was actually pretty funny. Uh, I I think I think I actually might have uh, uh, made, uh threw it in the chat room uh, myself because I just because I thought it was it was we hadn't had anything that was actually just funny or cute. Yeah. And it was actually like pretty funny, just like this brother just completely trolling his sister for hours. And I know that I would do that. Yeah. I don't even have siblings. Like I would I would just I would do that to my wife. I would do that to, I would do that to anyone. Like I would just I, like that just that it was it was just quality trolling. Like I'm I'm for this. <laughs> yeah, I can see you being for it. I just like it's just it's it's good. So, a good troll is a good troll. Like a long it, it, it ain't hurt nobody. And it's funny. And his sister just the whole time was just like had just like just like just like side eye. Just like seriously, <laughs> seriously. And then only only uh, broke a character one time, which she uh, she clapped uh, during the Friends theme because he apparently he had the Friends theme on on the music thing. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, this is a little bit more serious and really disturbing and absurd. Uh, there's a woman by the name of Veronica Lamas who is suing the South Coast Winery Resort and Spa located in Temecula, which is where people go to fight when they're on the Twitters, apparently. That's not where you, okay. Remember, meet me in Temecula. By the way, can I can I just have a moment just to uh, to throw shade at uh, at our uh, social media uh, person, uh, Robin uh, Jordan, who- uh, Is she who, still live tweeting it? She's, uh, she's currently still live tweeting, and uh, she just tweeted out, and I, I really, she needs, started from the gospel, now we're Drake. Oh God! I, oh God, Jess, Robin! Jess, Jess, <laughs> just look, look, look at the judgment of the host. Jess, this look like just like just like Robin. That's just no. no, no, no. And did I say no? No. All right. What 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 is the story you're telling, ma'am? Um. So she is suing uh, her former employer for allegedly refusing to pay appropriate wages under the California Labor Code, as well as for emotional turmoil resulting from the manager of the joint, Angel Salazar, and other employees alleged extensive, prolonged, and blatant sexual harassment of her. According to court papers, Lamas worked for the resort and for Salazar for nine years up until the end of December 2014, when she was wrongly terminated, wrongfully, excuse me, terminated for demanding her pay and complaining about the continued sexual harassment that was allegedly authorized, ratified, and approved by the officers, directors, and managing agents of the defendants. Salazar's most blatant act of sexual harassment, pulling his dick out and tossing it on the table as a sign of ownership and dominance over Lamas's work environment, actually occurred in March 2014. She continued to endure that working, uh, that toxic working environment for another nine months before she was wronged again and then fired for standing up for herself. So that happened. Just, could you imagine just walking into your boss's office to complain about sexual harassment and having your boss whip his penis out and just slap it on the desk? And the thing about it is if nothing's going to happen, then you should, like, cut it off then. Fuck it. Like, the reason, I mean, this is the same premise. If, if you're going to get fired for pointing this out, then just hit it with a hammer. Then fuck it. You're out the door anyway. Hit it with a hammer. Hit it with a fucking hammer. Put a fucking staple gun through that motherfucker. Yeah, Listen, but... it's, a, it's the point. If you're going to ignore this woman and fire her for pointing this thing out then what recourse is she left yeah. what do you you say for you do you do something stupid you should get fired you get you put your dick on a table you get fired you get reported you get fired if you're invincible for some reason then the employees with all rights to smash your dick with a fucking hammer when you do that because you're invincible. You should be fine. Your dick will be fine. You're invincible. <laughs> your dick will be fine. What? What? <laughs> that's, that's Aaron. Your dick will be fine. Your dick will be Aaron fine. And that, yeah, that's your quote, sir. Uh, that, 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 it is, yeah, uh, I, I feel, I, no, no, I don't, I don't even know what to do with it. Like that's like that's like one of those stories. You know, you know that uh, that YouTube uh, clip that everyone uh, uh, plays when uh, when they're when they're done with bullshit. Uh, hold on, wait, wait. I think I, I think I might even have it loaded. Let's see if it actually works. Of course not. What? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> no thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this <laughs> shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs>
That is my new. That, 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 that's it's that's it's just amazing. it's just the best response to things. Like I can't tell you how many times during the course of my day I'm just looking at stuff and I'm just like, fuck this, uh, fuck this shit. I'm out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't want this. I just I don't I don't I don't want any of it. I don't want any of it. Uh, do you have what else do we have? You got you got. I think you got like one 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 possibly two more stories that you're allowed to uh to uh hit, madam. Really. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Really. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, but then we're gonna bring down the show, and that sucks. Well, I mean, why would you bring? All, why would you do all the uh, the, the happy go lucky stories? Because before I you wanted to keep it happy go lucky. Because we deserve a happy go lucky day. You have failed us in every shape, form, or fashion. How does it feel? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, Imani? That's yeah. that's a good one. Hey, I, I, you failed us. Like, no. Well, that's fine. I'm okay with failure. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't do you feel bad about yourself? Oh, oh here's a good one. Okay. Uh, the Connecticut has overturned the death penalty. Yay. So last week, the Connecticut Supreme Court declared the death penalty unconstitutional. In 2012, Governor Malloy signed a bill into law that abolished the death penalty, making the state the 17th in the nation to abandon capital punishment and fifth in five years to usher in a repeal. But then, of course, you know, that, that decision was, was appealed to the Supreme Court. And finally, the Supreme Court decision stems from the appeal of a defendant whose lawyers argue that the executions carried out after the state abolished the death penalty would represent cruel and unusual punishment. The inmate Eduardo Santiago faced the death penalty after being convicted of a murder in West Hartford in 2000 in exchange for a snowmobile. Why are you murdering people in exchange for a snowmobile? I mean, it's better than murdering people for, like, ice cream. If oh, I, if, if marginally. I, if I'm going to murder someone, at least I, I, I'd like to get some, uh, some, uh, some cool tech. I guess. I, I mean, Aaron, Aaron if you're going to murder somebody, like, what would you prefer, like, to have like a dry cleaning bill because you have all this blood on you, or or, or uh, snowmobile, or, huh? Snowmobile, obviously. Cl- see, yeah. yeah, clearly, if you're gonna murder someone, get a snowmobile out of it. Oh, like, then of you can get away. <laughs> I, you know, unless only if you live somewhere in like if that it's currently snowing. How the hell are you doing with a snowmobile in some dry ass, dry ass state? What I assume if you have a snowmobile, there's got to be some snow in the ground. You can't just be sitting around. No snowmobile just sitting around. I Otherwise, you wouldn't have a snowmobile. If it snows four months out of the year, why the hell do you have a snowmobile? I assume because, like, you go, you bring your snowmobile to somewhere that has snow. Like, That's I believe, is, is there, like, a place near here, like, uh, uh, Amani, where uh, they, they, it snows? What is it? Tahoe something? Is that what something? Tahoe, Big Bear. I like, and it's, it's near they're here, place, right? They're, they're, they're yeah. places in California that snow. So, yeah, so I, I, I would argue that uh, you can totally, uh, like, kill someone for a, 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 a snowmobile. I don't suggest it. We are not pro murder for snowmobiles. I don't, I want to, I can just see right now, that's the problem with those Negroes. They want, they'll kill people for a snowmobile. Like, I don't think that's what we would do. I mean, Amani might, but like, I wouldn't kill you for a snowmobile. Can, well, I, that's good. I, I mean, Amani, I'm, I'm like, you're, you're problematic at times. I know. Really? <laughs> Probably Rod right. comes home to talk I, about Drake. <laughs> I, have, I have no clue uh, who or what that is or what why is it uh, coming in right now. But of course, because it's my it's my current setup, that's what happened. So immediately, that's what went down. Uh, but I think uh, we're basically almost done here. Uh, I don't think we have to. Uh, I don't think we have any uh, um, new feedback yet. Actually, I'm going to actually start in the uh, in the Facebook group. By the way, if you're a listener and watcher of the show, you should totally gra- uh, go by uh, the uh, Twib Nation uh, Facebook group that uh, that's happening. There's a lot of uh, good. Good, good times uh, the, don't show up if you're a dick like like like, like i'm really anti-dicks and so like you will be banned if you come in to, just to argue for dumb shit or whatever you'll be kicked out this is not uh like a, just a random uh, page where you're just like oh let's have like let's just like be dicks and argue with each other like nope this is supposed to be a safe space this is my virtual mountain until until i can either talk to Monty or emily uh to go to a mountain with me so that we can just go chill the fuck out this is our mountain on facebook so you can go check it out, Twin Nation, the official Facebook group. But don't be a dick. Uh, but I think I'm gonna uh, like start uh, posting um, uh, like uh, threads for people to be able to uh, leave feedback because I don't think we have any feedback on uh, on iTunes right now. Any new feedback? Which uh, I mean, what's up with that? Does, uh, does no one have feedback for us on iTunes? What, uh, Amani, what, what what have you done wrong? Me? Why I'm is it clear, me? Clearly, you have you have screwed up in some shape, form, or fashion. It's all this. What, what, your hands? Like, like, what, <laughs> why, what, what was that? What were you doing? Don't worry about it, Elon. Just what? shut it down. No, no, I want to, what were you doing with your hands? Tuning in Tokyo. What? Oh, for Boobs. God's sakes. Oh. Boobs. Boobs? Oh. Boobs. You, 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 have, you, have, you have a little bit of a size. You are not on the show, Adam. Adam? Adam? Boobs are cool, though. Yeah. I'm always got a point. What? Boobs are cool? Did you say, did, really? Oh, was, was that your argument? Yeah, they're cool. Have we been, I don't even want to talk to y'all. Mm-hmm. Elon, have you been sufficiently black? 
<laughs> yes, Elon, we have been sufficiently black. Excellent. I'm not asking you, Negroes, because you're, you're all a problem. Thank you guys for listening. Aaron, stop squeezing black. boobs in the air, Aaron. Squeeze them in the air like I, I just don't care. I don't. Throw them up. Throw them up. Thank you guys for listening. We'll be back here on Monday, in theory. That's when. That's the next time we broadcast, right? Monday? Yep. Same black time, same black channel. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Have a pleasant evening. So from now on...